Hi, my name is Roman Frick. I'm an associate professor in philosophy in the Department of Philosophy, Logic and Scientific Method, and I am the director of the Center for Philosophy of Natural and Social Science. My teaching is in general philosophy of science and philosophy of physics. And I'm going to tell you something about the MSE in philosophy of science. What is science and why is science so successful? Is scientific knowledge categorically different from other forms of knowledge that humans produce? Can science inform us about the fundamental features of the universe and of human nature? Can science tell us how things really are, or is science merely a provider of recipes for the economy of thought? What is the relationship between our best scientific theories and reality? And what counts as a scientific explanation and what does not, and why? These are but some of the questions that we will address in the MSE in Philosophy of Science here at the LSE. However, these fundamental questions are not the only questions that we are interested in. We are also interested in practical questions. How does science relate to policy? More specifically, what credentials does a piece of scientific research have to have in order to form the basis of responsible policy making? Um, these applied questions are very much on the agenda of the MSE degree um, and indeed these are questions I care personally greatly about and some of, of my research actually deals with them. The LSE philosophy department is the right place to discuss such questions because very far from the stereotype of the armchair philosophy we really practice a kind of philosophy here that is hands-on we stand for a kind of philosophy that is continuous with the sciences, a kind of philosophy that cares about scientific questions as they come up in the sciences. We work in an interdisciplinary context and we try to address questions that are socially relevant. Our members of the department here at the LSE are really ideally placed to deal with such issues. And not only do they care about science deeply, Many of them, in fact, have a first degree in science, and I am not an exception here. I did my first degree in physics, and I became a philosopher when I started worrying about what physics is all about and how it works. What does the program offer you when you sign up for it? First, you will get courses in general philosophy of science, where you will hear quite a bit about the questions that I mentioned right at the start. However, you will also hear quite a bit about special sciences. You will hear about physics, you will hear about biology, you will hear about mathematics, social choice and rational choice, you will hear about cognitive science, and you will even hear about philosophy of medicine here. All these issues will be addressed and uh, I mean, the degree there will be a critical reflection on these disciplines. Why on earth would you want to do an MSE in philosophy? First of all, the MSE would prepare you for a PhD in philosophy. If you want to pursue an academic career, write a PhD in philosophy, then doing the MSE is really the ideal preparation. However, the MSE can also be an interesting degree to take for someone with professional ambitions. Many of our students go on working in the private sector or they work in science management or science communications which requires some knowledge about science and the MSE really gives you all your tools that you need to understand what happens in the sciences and how to deal with them in a professional way. Students on this degree come from various backgrounds some come from philosophy undergraduate degrees, as you would expect, but quite some come from the sciences. They have degrees in biology, in physics, or in economics, and they just want to take this as an opportunity to reflect on what they have learned as scientists. And finally, we get students who come without a qualification in either philosophy or science, and they're just curious about what philosophy of science is. For instance, this year we have a student coming from a fine art background 
and she says she greatly enjoys learning about philosophy and science. And last but not least, let me say something about the intellectual environment here at the LSE. When you come to do an MSE, you will be a student in the department. However, there's much more going on at the LSE. We have a research centre that's associated closely with the department where numerous research projects are run, where various seminars take place, and you're welcome to attend all these seminars and be part of the activities that happen in the centre. And there is, of course, the LSE as a whole, where numerous talks and public lectures take place all the time. And last but not least, London is full of other universities and intellectual organizations that have plenty to offer, so you will have plenty of food for thought.